Do you want me to put this dish into uh, Uber and send it to you? Yeah, that'd be awesome. He's sleeping. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Udell, private chef to Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Nick Jonas, and 2 Chains. Today, we're gonna be making the baddest crispy halibut dish, one of 2 Chains' favorites. We're super close and I text him and FaceTime him all the time. So I actually know for a fact that 2 Chains loves this dish because I texted him asking what he wants me to make for his favorite dish and this is the one he chose. This dish takes a little bit of time, there's a few steps, but the end result is totally worth it. First, we're gonna make our tartar sauce. So we have creme fraiche, mayo, dill, shallots, chives, chopped pickles, capers, and one lemon. So first, we're gonna add some creme fraiche. The creme fraiche makes it a little bit tart, super creamy. Okay, next we're gonna add some mayo. I like using an avocado oil mayo because it's better for you. I'm gonna throw in some capers, crunchy pickles to add that super yummy, crunchy flavor, shallots, dill, lots of herbs to make it super herbaceous, chives, to add some zest, we're gonna do the zest of a lemon. And once you're done zesting your lemon, then you wanna use the juice inside the lemon. So we're just gonna squeeze it out. Now that we have all the ingredients in this bowl, I'm gonna stir it up, but in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you how I started working with 2 Chains. I met 2 Chains personal trainer, who's awesome, and he told me that 2 Chains is trying to get in really good shape, and he needs someone to cook him healthy food, and they contacted me, and I'll never forget the first day I showed up to 2 Chains' house, I rang the doorbell, 2 Chains opened the door with a nice robe, some chains on. He just gave me a big hug and I knew we were gonna be friends and work together for a very long time. I actually cooked for him that very first day. I can't quite remember what I made for him, but I know he loved it because he loves everything I make. <laughs> so the tartar sauce is done. This sauce can be on the side to dunk your fish in. It could go on the bottom. You could drizzle it all over the top, whatever you want. It's so delicious. It goes so well with crispy fish. <laughs> we are gonna make our tomato vinaigrette, which is optional for you at home, but it's super fun, really delicious, and it's actually pretty simple. All we need is some cherry tomatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper, pass those around. We're gonna wrap them in foil. So for the garlic, we're gonna chop off the very head, and then we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on top and some salt. And the reason that we chop off the head is that once it gets all roasted, we can just squeeze it out. We're gonna throw the garlic into the wrapping, and I'm gonna wrap it all up, and I'm gonna roast it in the oven for about an hour. Next, we're gonna make the secret nut crumble. I don't know if you guys realize, but we're prepping the toppings and the dressings and the garnishes first, so that once we cook the fish, we can serve everything hot and it's all ready to go. With all these ingredients, when you make them, you're gonna have more than just one serving. So I love having a nut crumble like this in the fridge because I could put it on top of vegetables, I can add it to salads, I can use it throughout the week. So I love prepping a lot of things at the beginning of the week or for my clients that I can continuously use in my cooking. Also, 2 Chains loves when I incorporate nuts into his meals. He really loves all types of nuts and he loves crispy nut toppings on pretty much everything. In my secret nut crumble, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, slivered almonds, cashews, brown butter, maple syrup, and salt. Coriander, cumin, and we're gonna toss all that together. One of my favorite memories with 2 Chains is I had known him for maybe a couple years and I wanted to go to one of his concerts, so he told me, oh, just call me when you get there. So I brought a couple friends. I'm like, there's no way he's gonna pick up. And I call him when I get there. He's like, oh, just cut the line, go around the back, tell the security you're with me. I'm like, okay. So I'm doing everything he tells me. And then all of a sudden, he opens the garage and he's like, hey, they're with me. So we walked on the huge driveway and then all of a sudden we're in the back of the concert with 2 chains. He just keeps saying, come with me, come with me, come with me. All of a sudden, I'm holding his dog, I'm walking on stage with him. People are like taking photos of me and 
It was one of the best nights of my life on stage with 2 Chains, seeing his fans, seeing like the love that people have for him and I felt so proud in that moment that I cooked for him and was just so happy that I got to experience that night with him. Now that I mixed this up, we're gonna toss it onto the sheet tray, which I lined with parchment paper so it doesn't get too sticky. I'm just gonna make it into a nice thin layer and then we're gonna slide this into the oven next to the roasting tomatoes. Now we're gonna move on to our crispy squash rings, which is the main side for this dish. We just need squash, olive oil, a little coconut sugar, and some salt. What's really nice about this squash is you can eat the skin, so you don't need a peel, no fuss, so easy. I already washed this one, so first things first, we're gonna just cut off the end, and then I'm gonna cut some rings. So I like to scoop out the center because I'm just extra like that. I like to make really pretty shaped vegetables. So if you want to be extra resourceful, you're just going to save the squash seeds, toss them with some oil, roast them in the oven for any later use or for this dish. They taste so good. Ooh. 2 Chainz loves his veggies, but I have to crisp them up a little bit, make sure they're really good texture. So for these, I'm going to get them crispy by adding them to a bowl with some olive oil salt and a touch of coconut sugar. It just caramelizes the squash really nicely and now they're ready for the oven. Before I put the squash in, I'm gonna take out the nuts because they seem to be ready. These smell so good. You see how these are getting a little brown on the edges and very golden? That's how I knew that it's time to take them out. I already preheated the pan and I'm just gonna lay the squash out. Ooh, hear that sizzle. So now we're gonna bread our fish. First, I'm gonna salt the fish. I'm gonna dip it into some gluten-free flour, then the egg wash, which is just eggs with a little bit of water, and then our breadcrumbs, which I blitzed in the food processor just to make them like super fine. You don't have to do this, I'm just extra. So we're gonna bread it up. While I'm dredging the fish, I'm gonna tell you guys about this crazy story that Two chains. One time, he called me and he said, hey, what's up, you free? Can you come and cook me dinner? So I was like, sure, I'll come over and cook you dinner. And I get there and I make dinner and then I go downstairs and I go into his studio and there in his studio is him and LeBron James and I had no idea that I was cooking for LeBron so that was a pretty crazy moment in my life where all of a sudden I was cooking dinner for LeBron James. And this is just one of the many moments that Two Chains has kept me on my toes and surprised me. Oh, so I'm trying to keep one of my hands dry and the other hand wet so that when you're moving, you don't get like chicken finger fingers and your fingers aren't ready to go in the fryer. And it also keeps the batter crispy because I'm able to not get the batter all wet while I'm moving. Another one of my favorite 2 chain stories was when I had a burger pop-up during the start of the pandemic and 2 Chains had texted me. He said, hey, I just landed at LAX and I'm hungry. I was like, do you wanna come through my burger pop-up? It starts tomorrow, but I could do a private tasting just for you and your friends. And he was like, text me the Addy. So I sent him the address and he shows up with his friends and he had this huge private restaurant experience for him and his friends to make burgers and we made them the best burgers ever. Two chains of turkey burger, his friends regular burgers, and to this day they always bring it up and they always ask me for burgers. It's been about 15 minutes but I'm smelling that the squash is ready so I'm gonna pull it out. So this is exactly how you want them to look. A little crispy. These ones got a little too crispy but those are my favorite ones so I'll eat them. Now that we've done all 200 other steps, it's time to fry the halibut. Now that we got the halibut all breaded up, let's fry her up. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the stove to high. I'm gonna let my pan preheat a little bit. So while this heats up, I'll tell you guys another story. I love FaceTiming 2 chains, especially when I hear his music in an Uber, in the bar or a restaurant. So I'll FaceTime him and he somehow seems to always pick up and we'll like dance together a little bit. And it's just another one of those moments where I hear his music in my day to day life and I just feel so proud that I know him and not just know him, but I can really call him a friend and an inspiration to me. And I just want to um, send this message out to Sammy and she is one of my favorite. 
chips out there. So I'm gonna add some olive oil. How long to cook it on each side definitely depends on the thickness of your halibut, but I'm gonna go two minutes on each side and then I'm gonna finish it in the oven for another two, three minutes. For me, it's all about my intuition, so the best thing I can tell you is to practice, try it. If it's a little too dry, you cooked it a little too long. If it's a little bit raw, you didn't cook it enough. And now I'm gonna do about two more minutes on this side and then pop in the oven. While the halibut's in the oven cooking, we're gonna use the same pan that has the leftover oil and flavor from the fish to make our jewelry rice, which isn't really rice at all, which has zucchini, carrots, eggplant, peppers, shallots and garlic, and then that becomes the base of the dish. So we're gonna keep the heat on high and we're gonna add in our eggplant and carrots. And then when we add in the carrots, I'm just gonna saute it for a second. Then we're gonna add some zucchini, peppers, I'm gonna salt it, and then I'm gonna throw in some shallots and garlic. It's super pretty, and you know you're eating the rainbow, which has to be good for you. This dish reminds me of Two Chains because it's colorful, it's fun, he loves jewelry, and it's a vibe. We're gonna finish the beginning components with, starting with the nut crumble. We're just gonna add the crispy onions and the seeds. Mix it all up. We're going for the toasty, nutty, crunchy vibe. This is gonna be the topping on our dish. And it looks perfect. I'm gonna slide this to the side and then I'm gonna go grab the tomatoes. I've been roasting the oven for an hour and we're gonna make the tomato vinaigrette. You guys won't believe in the way this smells. It's like better than your grandma's kitchen. It smells so good. I'm gonna take the garlic for a sec. You want all those juices, that's the flavor. And now, watch this. So I'm just gonna add a splash of red wine vinegar. And then we're just gonna blend this all up, taste it for salt, and that's your tomato vinaigrette. Looks perfect, smells perfect, is perfect. Our halibut's all nice and crispy, super juicy, perfectly cooked. I just know it. So now we're ready to plate. I wish I could eat this right now, but something tells me I should call 2 Chains and see if he wants it. So let's give him a call. Hey, it's Sam. Are you sleeping? Yeah. Do you want me to put this dish into a Uber and send it to you? Yeah, that'd be awesome. He's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so looks like I gotta get this over to 2 Chains, so I'm gonna go pack it up. But first, you can find me on social media at Wholesome. Or if this dish is too complicated for you and you need a private chef in your home or you need an in-home private dining experience, then contact us for a private chef at wholesome.com. And for more delicious recipes, check out delish.com.